Nuclear energy facilities generate carbon-free electricity in 30 countries around the world. Nuclear energy production is similar to the ways fossil-fueled power plants generate electricity. A nuclear energy facility provides clean, safe electricity 24 hours a day. In a nuclear energy facility, a chain reaction of splitting atoms releases heat. This reaction takes place in the reactor. All reactors are designed, built, and operated with safety as a top priority. Nuclear energy facilities are among the safest facilities in the world because they feature multiple redundant layers of safety systems and procedures, beginning in the core of the reactor. The two most common types of nuclear reactors are boiling water reactors and pressurized water reactors. Or PWRs were developed after boiling water reactors and work in a slightly different manner. In a PWR, the water in the reactor tank is under pressure to keep it from boiling even though it reaches very high temperatures. To prevent overheating, control rods made of a material that absorbs small atomic particles are inserted into the nuclear fuel bundle. When an operator wants to produce more heat, the control rods are raised out of the bundle. To create less heat, they are lowered into the bundle. The rods can also be lowered completely to shut the reactor down in the case of an accident or to refuel the facility. With this level of control, the operator of a nuclear energy facility is able to ensure that it continues to generate clean, safe and secure energy. Part of a bright future for our people. Some researchers, like toxicology professor Ed Calabrese, now say blast survivors who were exposed to smaller amounts of radiation are living longer than normal. And in small doses, radiation may even be good for you. How can any of it be good for you? It's all in the dose. What's going on at low doses is often seen to enhance immune performance and enhance longevity. What you're saying is that a little radiation works kind of like a vaccine to protect people? That's true. There are unconfirmed reports tonight that as many as 2,000 people have died. The Washington Post headlined 30,000 deaths, 40,000, worse than the A-bombs, they said. And how many people did die in Chernobyl? I know it was in the tens of thousands. I don't know, 50 or 100,000. On Earth Day this year, people told us that radiation killed thousands in Europe as a result of Chernobyl. In truth, a study by eight international agencies found 56 people were killed, mostly firefighters and workers at the plant. the general public is afraid of nuclear energy is because of the scare campaigns of groups like Greenpeace. Patrick Moore co-founded Greenpeace. He says he's not surprised that people fear radiation. It's because they are being told over and over and over again through the media that they are going to be damaged and, and, and killed by radiation from nuclear power. Moore is now at odds with his former friends. He's now a consultant for the nuclear power industry. Not a single person is being killed in the nuclear industry and people are wanting to ban it. it it's, it's pure scare tactics. Study says the biggest health menace the people of Chernobyl faced was psychological trauma, in part from fear. The fear was worse than the radiation. So next time someone scares you about radiation, remember that you're exposed to it all the time, without harm. And some people even want more of it.
y Zapón se van a senador particular y senadora Miriam de Pesón Santiago y que necesitan para todo lo que no pagar al Zapón de Bucasa en la un cat de la mano con esa pinito casi me en el bumbum que hay en la mano en la boxa no le han batido en el nuclear power plant en la boxa y que tiene yo en la administración Marcos en el régimen Marcos en la boxa en la gente de la mano en la boxa 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 Ah, kung saan ang gagaling ang kuryente, sinasabi nila, buhayin niyang bataan nuclear power plant na yan. Alas 6.46, ay nangyari, sa, nangyari sa Chernobyl, nung unang-unang Chernobyl. Tapos yung mile high ba yun, mile high ba yun sa Amerika? Ah, ayan, di na tinuloy. Ngayon naman nangyari sa Japan, mga kapusod, doon sa Fukushima. Hindi pa natin na, why? Pagkat na umaga. Magandang umaga rin sa'yo, Mike. Iginiti Senator Miram Defense for Santiago na patuloy na pag-aralan ang pag-activate o pagbubukas ng Bataan Nuclear Power Plant o BNPP na nasa Morong Bataan. Ang kay Santiago na Vice Chairman ng Senate Committee on Energy, hindi sapat na dahilan para sa tuluyang pag-abando na at pagkandado ng BNPP ang aberya ngayon sa nuclear facility ng Japan. Sa impormasyon ng Senadora, magkaibang teknolohiya ng BNPP at ng nuclear power plant sa Fukushima sa Japan. Bagaman na dekada 70 hanggang 80 pa ginawa ang BNPP, sinabi ni Santiago na mas moderno ang nuclear uh, reactor ng BNPP kumpara daw sa lumang luma ng nuclear reactor ng Japan. Ang takot din aniya ukol sa pagkasira ng plant ng nuclear ng Japan ay kagagawa ng mga alarmista na husto lamang sa superstition at ignorance kagaya sa nangyari kahapon. Malimali ani yung datos na, na ang lumalabas sa ilang report. Isang nuclear plant din sana ang nag operate ngayon dito sa Pilipinas kung nasunod ang rehimeng Marcos. Ipinatayo ni dating Pangulong Marcos ang Bataan Nuclear Power Plant sa Morong Bataan bilang solusyon sa krisis sa enerhiya at langis noong 1970s. Batid naman ang mamahala sa BNPP ang manangyaring pagsabog sa nuclear power plant sa Fukushima, Japan. Aminado sila na para sa isang maunlad na bansa tulad ng Japan, hindi inaasahan ng ganitong klaseng aksidente. Pero hindi rin daw dapat ikumpara ang nuclear power plant ng Japan sa BNPP. Ang, ang sa Japan is ang type ng kanilang reactor is a boiling water reactor. Ang... BNPP is a pressurized water reactor. Kung sa boiling, uh, sa pagkakaalam ko, uh, direct contact siya sa, sa nagiging steam. Sa, what, uh, sa nagiging steam ka. Samantalang ang pressurized water reactor is nakahiwalay ang, ang tubig sa reactor sa papunta sa steam generator na nagiging steam. So, parang less chances of radioactive, of radiation leak, gano'n? Ah, yun. Less ang leak niya. Sa kabila ng pagtitiyak nito, hindi mawawala ang oposisyon sa pagbubukas ng plant. Sa Kamara, nagkasundo ang ilang kongresista na magkaroon ng moratorium sa rehabilitasyon at reopening ng BNPP dahil sa nangyari sa Japan. Hindi daw ito ang panahon para pag-isipan ang muling pagbubukas ng BNPP. Pero kung ang tagapamahala ng BNPP ang tatanungin, imbis na matakot sa Japan, dapat ay pag-aralan ang kanilang sitwasyon para makita ang dapat at di dapat gawin sa BNPP. Actually. Ang dapat nating tinan siguro is yung event doon sa Japan. Uh, do not look beyond the event. Ang tinan natin is what, or what is the Japanese going to do about it? And then from their actions, we can learn something. We can learn how to, to adapt yung whatever action they're going to take to contain the incident.